a particle executing SHM that is simple harmonic motion of amplitude 4 centimeters and time period 4 seconds. The time taken by it to move from positive extreme position to half the amplitude is option A is 1 by 3rd 1 second square root of 3 by 2 seconds D 2 by 3 seconds. It's given in the problem that amplitude is 4 centimeters and time period of the oscillator is 4 seconds. Let us say it is a simple pendulum. It looks like this and it starts from the extreme point and it goes towards the main position that is equilibrium position. In the question it is asked that what is the time taken by the pendulum to move from extreme point to the half of the amplitude. So to come from this blue point to green point what is the time taken. So we know that half of the extreme point means it is amplitude by 2. So displacement is displacement x is equal to a by 2. The pendulum starts from the extreme point. The equation which can satisfy this motion of the pendulum or the SHM is, is amplitude and cos omega t because when t is 0 we get cos 0 as 1 so it x is equal to a because this is starting from extreme point. We know that half amplitude is a by 2 that is equal to a cos omega t we have to find out this t so a, a cancels so we get half is equal to cos omega t it is cos of pi by 3 that is cos 60 is half that is cos omega t or we can say pi by 3 is equal to omega t and we also know that omega is 2 pi over capital T that is time period into small t. So pi and pi cancels we get small t is equal to capital T by 6 and capital T is 4. 4 by 6 is equal to 2 by 3 seconds is the time taken by the oscillator to move from extreme point to the half of the amplitude. A particle executing simple harmonic motion along y-axis has its motion described by the equation y is equal to a sin omega t plus b. The amplitude of the simple harmonic motion is option a b, option b a, c is square root of a plus b and option d a plus b. In this problem the displacement of the body is given by y is equal to a sin omega t plus b. The question is what is the amplitude of this simple harmonic motion? So it might slightly confuse you that there are two terms in the right hand side that is a sin omega t and b. The second term is not a function of time. So it is just a constant that means this oscillatory motion is happening about this point B. So in this problem mean position is not 0 instead it is B. So if you take T is equal to 0 we get Y is equal to A sin 0 plus B and sin 0 is 0 so Y is equal to B. So this is the mean position about this point B the oscillation is happening therefore it does not contribute to the amplitude. So amplitude is just A in this problem. So the oscillation is happening about B. So the two extreme points will be Y extreme points is B plus A and B minus A in the negative direction. I yeah, will call it as Y bar that is B minus A so about B the oscillation is taking place. So therefore, amplitude of this oscillation is A. An object of mass M is moving in a uniform circular motion in the XY plane. The circle has radius R and the object is moving around the circle with speed V. The motion is projected onto the X axis where it appears as simple harmonic motion. 
according to x of t equals r cos omega t plus phi. Here, what is the value of omega? The options are v by r, v by r sin omega t, m squared r, and last option is r by. So what is given here? Mass of the particle executing harmonic motion is given. So m is the mass of the particle and it is moving along a circle of radius r and it is moving with a uniform speed v and it's moving in xy plane when it is projected in the x-axis the x displacement as a function of time is given by r cos omega t plus phi r cos omega t plus phi then what is the value of omega since the body is performing uniform circular motion and its projection is exactly a simple harmonic motion we can make use of the formula that is linear speed v is equal to r omega r omega is equal to v by r this is a direct way of solving in other words we can also make use of formula for forces in this oscillatory motion that is force involved in the case of oscillations that simple harmonic motion is m omega squared r and that is balanced in this motion by centripetal force which is mv squared by r or you can write this as mm cancels on both the sides omega squared is equal to v squared by r squared or omega is equal to square root of v squared by r squared that is v by r so option a is correct next question the displacement of a particle along x axis is given by x is equal to a sin squared omega t the motion of the part particle corresponds to simple harmonic motion of frequency omega by pi simple harmonic motion of frequency omega by 2 pi non simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion of frequency 3 omega by 2 pi and from the given equation that is x is equal to a sin squared omega t a sin squared omega t what we know is in the form of a sin omega t or a cos omega t the first power of sin or cosine but the given function is sin squared omega t so we have to confirm whether this is a simple harmonic motion or not for that we can write this sin squared omega t the form of sin omega t or sin into some constant into omega t using the formula that is cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin squared theta so by rearranging this we can write this as sin squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta whole divided by so that is half minus half cos 2 theta so here given is sin square omega t so i can write x is equal to a into sin squared theta is half so it is half minus half cos 2 times omega t or it is a by 2 minus a by 2 cos 2 omega t our standard equation is x is equal to a plus b sin or cos theta or cos omega prime t so by comparing these two value of omega prime is 2 omega and it is related to frequency as omega is equal to 2 pi f or you can write 
टू टाइम्स ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू टू पाई एफ और ओमेगा इक्वल पाई एफ और एफ इज इक्वल टू ओमेगा बाई पाई इज द आंसर A particle is performing simple harmonic motion along x-axis with amplitude 4 cm and time period is 1.2 seconds. The minimum time taken by the particle to move from x is equal to 2 cm to x is equal to 4 cm and back again is given by and given that mean position is at x is equal to 0. Mean position x is equal to 0. So the motion is starting from x is equal to zero. What else is given? Amplitude is four centimeters. A is equal to four centimeters, and time period is given. Time period is one point two seconds. What we have to find out is time for its motion from x is equal to two centimeters to x is equal to 4 cm that means from half of the amplitude to the extreme point what is the time taken for the bob or any oscillating particle and we know that the time for any oscillating body to move from equilibrium point to extreme point is t by 4 therefore it is 1.2 divided by 4 That is 0.3 seconds. Now, if we can calculate time from mean position to half of the amplitude, and this is the time from mean position to extreme position, and then subtract the two, that will give you time from half of the amplitude to the extreme point. That is, x is equal to two to x is equal to four. So, what is the time for the oscillator to move from equilibrium point to half of the amplitude? We know that. The displacement a by two is equal to a sine omega t. What is a? A is four. Anyway, it cancels out. We get half is equal to sine omega t. So, for what value of sine we get half? It is sine thirty pi by six is equal to Sine omega t. By comparing, you can say that pi by six is equal to omega t. I can write this as pi by six is equal to omega is two pi by capital T. That is time period into t. So pi pi cancels. We get time t is equal to Time period t divided by 12, and we know the time period that is 1.2 seconds. So t is equal to 1.2 divided by 12. What is this value? This point 1. So now you have two values. Time to move from equilibrium point to extreme point. Call this as t2, and this is some t1. If you subtract these two quantities, we will get time that is required for the oscillator to move from half amplitude to extreme points. That is equal to t1 minus t2. So it is 0.3 minus 0.1. That is equal to 0.2. Seconds. This relationship is important. This time is to move from equilibrium point to half the amplitude. But in the problem, they have asked time for the oscillator to move from x is equal to two to x is equal to four and back to two. So it is therefore two times this time is two into point two seconds. That is point four seconds. This time is. Time from x is equal to two to extreme position, that is x is equal to four, and this is two times that, so it comes back to x is equal to two. 